Boss, can we kick off by finding out the reasoning behind the arrival of George Frankham on a, that six-month loan deal from the Norwich City? What was your thoughts on that, please? Yeah, I've said before, we've been looking at some areas of the pitch where we need to strengthen. And George comes into that category that he can play right back and he can play midfield as well. So um, we're not going to be able to bring in loads of players. So it'd be important that some of the ones we can bring in can maybe fill in different areas. But uh, he's probably more of a right back than anything else. So um, we just felt we probably really only got Hearty there. That's that's an out and out right back. So it's important that we we looked at you know bringing someone in there that's that can play. Um, and he's he's a bit different to, to Hardy as well. Um, so. No, we're pleased to have him in. We've we've had him watched a few times, and um, I spoke to people down at Norwich, and, and he, he comes highly recommended. He's obviously not the most experienced player. Mm. He's still only twenty, but do you feel he's got the right mindset for the challenge ahead? Because it will be quite a demanding one, won't it? Yeah, well, I think the fact that he's had there was a couple of other offers in England for him, and he decided he wanted to come here, which was great because he knows he's coming into a situation that's um, is going to be a battle and a scrap, and. Uh, I think that's the type of individual we're looking for as well as being a decent footballer for people that are willing to come and fight for the cause and um, like I said it would have been easier for him to go somewhere else where he would have just went and played and been comfortable but he's come here for a challenge which is great. Obviously his arrival coincides with the departure of Matt Thornhill which has now been uh, confirmed and obviously Victor Poulsen who left the club earlier on in the week. Is it? Can we expect to see more wholesale changes? Well I think there will be a few more going. Um, like I said we have spoke to players about leaving the club and they know that so um, but obviously, you know, what's been here before hasn't worked, so we need to change something and um, you know, players need to know that if, if it's if it's not going right well then um there is there is uh, circumstances for that and you know, we we've got to deal with that as you know, I felt we, we needed different type of players in the club. And um, unfortunately like every football club players, you know, go when a new manager comes in, so um we can add a few more to the squad, I'll be I'll be pleased with what we have then. Lee Griffiths unfortunately Obviously, he has lost that appeal. What was your take on on the situation, and what's your verdict on the on the end result as well? The, the fact that he's going to be banned. I'm disappointed in both fronts. I'm disappointed that he's act, reacted like that to, you know, to our own supporters, and uh, you know, it's 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 something that he's got to stop. Basically, we've lost him now for two games for something that's absolutely not nothing got to do with the game. So he's got to learn from that quickly, or he's going to end up sitting the stand a lot more than he wants to be. So. Um, you know, we just we can't accept that we were in a position where we need all our best players on the pitch. Um, if you lose a player for I've said this before, if you lose a player for a tackle or you know something a little bit unlucky where he gets a red card, you can you have a little bit of sympathy, but there's no sympathy here, and he needs to learn that quickly. Like. Was he on the top of your team? You saw Zara's born back in full squad training. What's the likelihood of him coming back in to the starting lineup? Well, he's he's trained yesterday and today, and he he trained quite well. Just to see how he is, what sort of reaction he's had to train. Same with Gary, same with Stacky. So. It's it's good that we've got the boys back in and they've trained well today, so it gives us different options, which is great and um, gives us a fair bit of strength. You know, even on the bench, you know, we've got to change things. So I'm, I'm pleased that we've got. I think only Ian Murray is the only one that's missing at the moment. So, um, you know, we're 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 firing on all cylinders, Barry, and so that's that's pleasing. I see everyone's talked about the, the loss of Gary O'Connor and what he brings to the team, but just how important is Ozzy as, as a player to this current hip side? Yeah, he's a different type of midfielder to what we have, probably with, with David and, and Lewis. He's got a little bit more legs about him, get up and get it down the park, get into the box. So he's a, you know, he's, he's a big addition to have back to us. Like getting a new player today, to be honest, he's back training. He's, he's enthusiastic and he's, he's a great lad. And uh, I'm delighted he also gives a little bit more physical strength and, and presence within the team. So delighted to have him back.